welcome to the tech learners we are discussing in the series of finding different numbers in previous lectures we had discussed text number chronic number in today's lecture we will talk about spy number write a program to accept a number and check and display whether it is a spy number or not spy number is a number if the sum of its digits is equal to the product of its digits for example this is a number 1124 we need to extract the digits and sum all the digits so 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 this is 8 and the product of its digits is also 8 so if the sum and product of the digits is similar then this is known as a spy number let's talk about the logic how we can solve this problem uh, first we'll input the number from the user we can use the scanner or buffer reader class and we need to extract the digits of the number then find the sum of the digits find the product of the digits and then compare the sum and product and then finally display the results remember this extraction of the digits of a number is a very common process that we need to use it in many problems so you need how to extract you need to learn how you can extract the digits of the number and then can perform different operations on these digits so let's see into the program how we can solve this uh okay we have used the scanner class to accept the number from the user just to use this scanner class we need to import java.util.scanner if you are not aware about how you can take the input using the scanner class you can watch the separate video specially for the scanner class and user input so we have displayed the message please enter a number then we'll uh, input the number using next int function as we are taking the integer number and we'll store the number into num variable then we'll be taking a temporary variable where we will be storing this num number now we'll take a sum variable we'll take a product variable and we'll take a digit variable in the digit variable we'll be storing separate digits of the number now we'll be using a loop you can use a while do or for loop the loop will execute till num is not equal to 0 let's say the number is 143 then this will keep executing till num is 0 so we'll first inside the loop this is the first statement to extract the digit we can mod perform mod operation with the num by 10 in this way we'll get the remainder of the digit so for example if the number is 1124 and if we perform a mod operation with this 1124 by 10 then we'll remain with 4 that is the remainder so in this way we can uh, separate the first digit so now the 4 will be inside the digit now we'll be using the sum variable to store the sum of that digit so we have initialized sum with 0 so this is 0 plus 4 now this sum will have a 4 value similarly we will be using the product uh, obviously remember whenever you need to sum initialize the variable with zero or whenever you need to perform product initialize the variable with one okay if you will initialize the product with zero then the final result will always be a zero so remember to initialize this with a one so we will get the product of the digit also and then we will extract the numbers remaining digit so num is equal to num by 10 this will give you the quotient so once we'll divide 1124 by 10 you will get the quotient 112 so we'll have 112 into this num now the loop will remain uh, will continue and now this value of num is 112 so again the same process will follow from 112 we'll perform mod and 2 the next digit will be stored into this now as we have 4 already into the sum so 4 plus 2 will be a uh, 6 and similarly the product will also happen uh, this is 4 into 2 that will be 8 so this will be stored again the num will be uh, we'll divide the num by 10 then now we'll have only 11 so in this way we can extract the digits and we can get the digits of the number into this digit variable this will keep changing and we will be performing operations on this digit so in this way once the loop will complete we will have two variables sum and product 
in the sum we'll have the sum of all digits and in product we'll have the product of all the digits now the next step we'll compare this sum with the product and if both are equal then we'll simply display that it is a spy number and if it is not then we will display that this is not a spy number now let's compile and execute the program to check the output so this is a spy number let me input 1124 so you can see 1124 is a spy number let me re-execute with some other value let's say 1125 as you can see this is not a spy number as the sum of the digits is 5 plus 2 7 this is 8 and this is 9 so sum of all the digits is 9 and the product 5 into 2 that is 10 10 into 1 into 1 this is 10 so the sum is 9 and product is 10 which is not equal so this is not a spy number so i hope you have understood the program of the spy number well uh, tune into the channel subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you so much